What's going on everybody? I'm Jory Goodman, the Time Teller. Welcome to T3 Off The Cuff, your daily installment for Orology News. Now guys, I wanted to bring something up right off the top. Um, this is not food in my beard. I'm a slob of a person, we can all agree on that. Um, but I'm not so sloppy that I'll go on camera with like things actually in my beard that aren't supposed to be there. These are white hairs. I'm getting old, I'm balding because you guys have stressed me out so much! that uh, I am aging before your very eyes. And uh, when the light hits it just so, these white hairs uh, stick out like a sore thumb because I don't have that cool like salt and pepper thing going on yet. But when you guys inevitably age me to the point of me deteriorating, I'm sure at some point I will get that very nice, ooh, he's young enough to do it, but he's old enough to know how to do it, you know what I mean? Um, it is 1.16 p.m., let's get down to business. Today we're going to be talking about fashion watches. Fashion watches are literally, it is, oh my gosh, what am I, Italian now? It's literally the worst thing you can say about another person's watch. Period. It's like, it's, it's an immediate write-off. Like, if someone shows you a watch, whether it be on my YouTube channel or in their own collection or they show it to you on Instagram, whatever... And, and you call it a fashion watch, that's your, it's fist fight, guaranteed. Because that's just, it's a diss. And, like, we're going to explore what a fashion watch is today. Because I guess Hodinkee came out with uh, an expose about Chanel watches. And they refer to them as fashion watches. And a few people in my inbox asked me how I feel about fashion watches. My answer may surprise some of you. But again, before we begin, you already know what to do. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell icon so you get notified. Follow me on Instagram at The Simple Consultant and become a channel member, guys. It's like YouTube's Patreon and it helps me out a whole bunch. You get access to that members only Discord chat and an extra piece of content. So, I mean, what are you waiting for? All right, guys. So, let's go ahead. Uh, I will move uh, the screen. And uh, by the way, <laughs> you guys should be happy. Um, I moved myself to this side of the screen because we don't have a new background yet and people were getting a little bit uncomfy about that wristwatch hair. Sorry. Um, but we will we will survive, guys. All right. Um, fashion watches. This is the article in question. Hodinkee didn't do anything wrong here, by the way. Like, they're... they're uh, I bag on Hodinkee a lot, but they didn't do anything like particularly incorrect here. Fashion watches, Chanel watches matter, and here's why. Blah, 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 blah. It's an opinion piece. Chanel probably paid, the, I mean, I, I I don't know, but th this could be, you know, an ad for, for Chanel. They, they, they may have collaborated on this, might be sponsored, I don't know, but they're going heavy on Chanel. And um, I don't know if I agree with uh, Chanel watches mattering at all. But, but before we talk about these specifically, I do want to talk about the general, I guess, archetype of a fashion watch, and I'm, and, and I'm going to pose these questions okay is it is a fashion watch something that is only a fashion watch because of the brand that produces it like for instance chanel makes clothing and handbags and jewelry so now that they're making watches or or i mean they've made watches for a while but with them producing watches, does it is it only because of, of the brand Chanel that this is relegated to being a fashion watch? Or is it a certain aesthetic? Is it that the watch looks more like jewelry and less like a, a common, uh, more recognizable archetype of a watch? Or does it come down to functionality? Like... And, and uh, I don't want to say materials used, but um, I guess we can just say soul, a soul. Uh, is it that fashion watches typically are quartz and they don't have good movements and they're just kind of throwaway accessories and they don't have the soul of a proper mechanical watch? I don't think we can rightfully say that either because my Seiko Tuna and all my G-Shocks, you know, those, those all have batteries and um, those are legit watches. So, so I don't know. I mean, I'm wearing a watch with, with a battery right now. Sorry, I'm not crying. I have something in my eye. So these are questions that I want you guys to answer, please. And, and I'm going to give you my take because I think it's kind of all of those things and none of those things. 
kind of confusing. Chanel, they do have some watches that interest me, none of which are mentioned here. Like, none of which are mentioned here. However, this ad is very, very uh, pertinent and relevant today's episode because you know what watchmaker gets written off as a mere fashion watch all the time? Cartier. Because Cartier is very, very well known for their jewelry, their wedding bands, their engagement rings, necklaces, bracelets. I mean, they made a killing within the last uh, five years with those um, love bracelets, I think they call it, with, that you screw on. Man, those those blew the F up. Actually, we have one for sale at the Time Teller shop right now if you want to check it out. I think it's, it's a men's size uh, or a woman that has enormous wrists or, you know, it just wants to wear it. But I don't want to get myself in hot water. It, it's, it's, this is for men. It's, we have a big love bracelet from Cartier at the time teller shop. If you want it, check it out, whatever. But you can see on their website, they have some bracelets here. They also make eyewear. That's right. They make glasses frames. Um, they make fragrances. Uh, they, they, they have a, Ooh, what's up? Jill and Hall. But first and foremost, in my opinion, they have watches, dude. Because Cartier made one of the first dedicated wrist-worn watches for men, period. So they have perhaps the deepest history when it comes to urology. But for some reason, because they are a brand that is heavy in the fashion space, people write them off as just, oh, they're a fashion brand. And they say it as if it's a negative thing. But the interesting thing is they have... They have the Manapusua, they have the Mysterious, they have these insane feats of watchmaking. Watches that I've mentioned numerous times on this channel that we don't have to go over today. But even something as simple as a Santos. This is a badass watch. I don't know how you could argue that this this is not a, a, a legit watch. It's, it's absolutely a legit watch. Um, I don't know if they're going to have all the insane watches on their website. They should. Uh... Pasha's tanks, obviously. Uh, where, where are the experimental, crazy, hyper-limited watches? They're probably not going to, you know, advertise those. Let me see. But you'd think they'd have them as a show of force. I even like these Panther watches. The Panther. Uh, and this is for a woman. It has a very long bracelet that, like, goes around the woman's wrist. I think that th I think that these are very cool, and I think that these terms don't have to be mutually exclusive. It's an accessory, it's a bit of jewelry, and it comes from a legit watchmaker. We don't have to reduce it to 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 some throwaway thing, right? But okay, Cartier has a deep history in orology. What about watchmakers like Hermes? Can we call them a watchmaker? Because I mean, we go to their site right now, we see like what scarves and I suppose cosmetics leather goods they're very known very well known for their leather goods right the Birkin bag probably one of the most fit if I know about a, a a bag a lady's purse then it's got to be pretty well known um hats whatever accessory that and watches and guess what initially I wrote them off as a mere fashion brand because I didn't know any better I saw these watches that are just battery powered, like weird, not as nice looking as anything that, that Cartier produces. And I was like, eh, these are just throwaway accessories for rich people that like Hermes that are shopping at Hermes, buying crazy expensive things. And then they see that and they're like, yeah, I'd like a watch from there. Um, but I was wrong. I was absolutely wrong. And, and thankfully I got to review a proper Hermes watch and they make some insane, insane, insane watches, watches that I actually truly love. So, here comes the next question I'm going to pose to you. Are there legit watchmakers that also, in their catalog, can produce fashion watches? Or is it just a brand-only thing? Like, you either make fashion watches or you don't. Because I could see people looking at some of these kind of, like, battery-powered, bedazzled, weird things and saying, oh, those are kind of fashion-y watches. But some of these other ones... Um, I don't know if we're going to get to them right now. Uh, and then they have the straps and everything. Exorbitantly expensive straps. Because this isn't just leather, guys. This is Hermes leather. <laughs> um, but you can go to my channel, type in Hermes, and, and I review. They have such really cool Art Deco crazy mechanical watches. 
I think you can make the argument that there are people that produce proper watches that also produce fashion-y watches. Now let's move over here. Bulgari. The Octo Finissimo is one of the most... Uh, let me reject the cookies. Um, Octo Finissimo is like one of the most famous watch series of all time, right? Because of how insane the design is and now that they are making the ultra thins and everything. Um, those are legit watches. But we look and watches are only the one, two, three, four, fifth thing on their header. Heading, excuse me. Um, so high jewelry, jewelry, engagement, wedding rings, whatever serpent, serpenti, 75, and fragrances, everything. Bulgari makes everything. But as watch lovers, we know them from the Octa Finissimo line, right? I don't think you could argue that because they are a fashion brand, their Octo Finissimos aren't legit watches. They're an absolute feat of orological design and and application and, and trial and error. Just crazy things that they've done to produce these insane watches. Which brings us to the next thing. Maybe fashion watches are just these. Kind of throwaway companies. They make watches, I guess, you know, MVMT. I, have, I haven't mentioned them on my channel since pretty much I started the channel. But they're still around, believe it or not. And they produce eyewear, jewelry, like blah, 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 blah. And they still make, in my opinion, very crummy watches. Now, they have branched out and they make automatics now. but And, and, and they took my advice and they're actually listing the movements that they use. So, NH36 and an 8215. I would just, you know, there, there's a lot of other watchmakers that use these two movements. And I would, I personally would shop elsewhere. But is is this a fashion watchmaker? Like these kind of social media watch, watch brands? Or like the AliExpress brands? Like are these fashion watchmakers? Well, here's my take. Like I said earlier, I think it does have to do with the brand. I think it does have to do with some of the history. I think it does have to do with uh, some of the components used, right? Because there are watches, like from Hermes, that are these kind of just little fashion-y, weird, dinky accessories. But then there are watches that I've reviewed from Hermes that have very nice decorations on the movement, that are complicated, that look very, very nice, and are actual proper watches. We go to Cartier, right? You could argue that, uh, let's see, let's, let's pick a good one. The Tank Francais. Okay, so this is, you know, it's a quartz watch. Um, precious metal. Let's see. Very nice. Like, I love these. Actually, I don't even know if this is a render, to be perfectly honest. It's an edited photo. I, I don't know if I could say that this is a, a true full render but you can see the grains in the gold this is very much an accessory and it it's it's not necessarily a feat of watchmaking so you could argue okay well this is more of an accessory type watch from cartier but you go to some of these other watches the santos all the way to their very complicated watches and you can't just write it off as just a mere accessory like the, these are like insane watches same with Hermes and Bulgari. And like, I think there's a gamut. I hate using this word. I think there, I think it's a spectrum. <laughs> Guys, it's a spectrum. Jeez. <laughs> there are only two kinds of watches. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh my God. I'm going to get canceled. Um, so I don't know if I have a, a true answer. What is a fashion watch? I, I think I've kind of left you with, with, some questions that you need to answer yourself, but here's what I will say definitively. I actually don't know if a fashion watch is a bad thing. If Cartier is a fashion watch maker and all their watches are fashion watches, then I freaking love Car I, I love fashion watches. Because I've told you, Cartier's top five watchmakers of all time, in my opinion. Maybe even top three. I'm, I'm going to be perfectly honest. When I think of favorite watchmaker ever, Cartier comes to mind immediately. So I, they, they might even be top one for me. And if you say that, that, uh, 
you know, Hermes, all their watches are just mere fashion watches. They're throwaway. Dude, some of the Hermes I've gotten to take a look at and get my hands on are insane. So I guess I like fashion watches. So what I'm trying to say, we got to take the term back. We got to, we got to acknowledge it as a hey, fashion watch. Not, not necessarily a bad thing. I think some of them are cool. And I know it's going to be a shock and, and have some of you clutching your pearls. <gasps> get it? Cause like we're talking about fashion. I don't know. Um, but I, but, but that's my take. I love Cartier. I love the Hermes watches. Some of them. I love, uh, the Octo Finissimo line. Um, but brands, yeah, like that show up on AliExpress or, or MVMT. I'm not much of a fan of those. So where, where is the line? And is there a line? You let me, you let me know guys. I, I learned from you just as much as you learned from me, but, um, yeah, just an interesting conversation to have. And perhaps we can take this further in another episode or during a live stream, but let me know. All right, guys, I will catch you on the next one. Uh, I will see you tomorrow for your T3 off the cuff daily orology news installment. And, uh, yeah, guys subscribe. If you haven't already stay happy, stay healthy, stay blessed. I'm Jory Goodman, the time talent. Always remember I didn't invent time. I just tell it. All right, guys. And, uh, yeah, next time someone says one of your watches is a fashion watch, say, I know. <laughs>